because the people here have the knowledge. So we must get the facilities here to ensure that they are in the forefront. What we have been able to do here this evening is as a result of the community, the constituency development fund, and I want to speak a little bit about that. For those of you who follow the press, you know, in the initial stages, there were some editorials that had come out casting the Community Development Fund as Pope Barrett. Well, I am confident that nobody in this room can say that they are beneficiaries simply on the basis of support for a political party. So therefore, this is not a Pope Barrel event. This is not a PNP event. This is not a political event. This is a constituency event. And I quite like the quote that Claude referred to. It says, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And I could say the, pays the best dividends are the best returns. And this is what we are doing this evening. We are investing in knowledge. And therefore I am saying to the persons who will be presented with some assistance. We are not doing you a favor. We are making, you hear what I am saying? We are not doing you a favor. We are making an investment in you. And we expect that you will make the best use of it. And we expect that you in turn will make an investment in the community and where you live. And when you make it, that you will in turn turn around and assist somebody else to make it. And we start with the children and we go right up to the adults. Because at Independence City, we are celebrating their accomplishment and their achievements. And we will be celebrating the accomplishment and achievement of all the schools in the constituency. I want to make the point that this event is going to be an annual event. But let me be clear. It doesn't mean that we are going to assist the same persons every year. We have to ensure that as wide a cross-section of persons in the constituency are the beneficiaries of the assistance from the constituency. So we want to revolve it and make it as wide as possible. We have in place an education committee, and what I'm going to say here now by way of announcement is that as of next year, I mean, people have come to the office and they have applied, but there will be a, a period, an application period, from the end of July, I would say the, um, the last week in July, to the first week in August that people submit their applications for assistance and in some instances we will do it on a competitive basis especially for those persons at the tertiary level we will organize interviews and so on to determine the need and to assess the persons and look at where they are in their, their um, school career so that we can assist them to completion. I believe that this event is significant in that it is an open event. And if you notice, there are cameras here, not for publicity, but for the dissemination of information because persons in the constituency must know that this is happening and the information must be shared with people because all too often people accuse politicians of doing absolutely nothing and it is not true and therefore i want to make it clear what we are doing in east central st catherine and it may assist other persons looking on who want to contribute to the east Central St. Catherine 
education fund. Because we are launching that fund here tonight and we will be seeking sponsorship donations from corporate citizens to contribute to this fund so that we can supplement the funds that are available. Because I want to indicate that we earmarked $4 million for this exercise. And we have been completely oversubscribed. We have got over $6 million in requests. So it would show you that there's a deficit of $2 million based on the requests that come in. And I am sure that come next year, we may even have a larger request. But we are looking forward to the time in this country when we will have sufficient to ensure that each citizen is entitled to a quality education. And I must confess that I'm one of the believers that the state has a responsibility to educate its people. And this is part of that commitment and part of the realization of that responsibility that we are undertaking here this evening. And I'm also hopeful that in the year 2013, or not too far beyond, we will discover oil in commercial quantities so that we can go back to a period when the state was fully able to fund education from the cradle to the grave. So with those few words, I would invite us, the chairman, to come back and take over the proceedings. We're going to go directly into the presentations now, and we're going to ask all the members of the head table to participate in the presentation, and I'm going to start with Mayor Lee, uh, because we want to start with the children from Independent City Primary School who did well. And I promised them a certain treat, and I'm delivering that here this evening to them. Because in doing that, I want to send a very serious message and lesson to them that hard work pays. Diligence pays. Usain Bolt and Blake and Shelly and, and um, Veronica and all the Jamaican athletes and wear didn't just get up and run and win. They had to do a lot of hard work and preparation. And now it is paying off. So once you work hard, there is a reward for you at the end of it. And this is our token to you, the children from Independent City, for your hard work. And we also have for um, Naga Head. So I'm going to invite Mr. Finikin to come back. And let me explain again. The checks are not made payable to the persons directly. In the case of Independent City, children, these are book certificates. You go to the bookstore and you um, get your supplies there and so on. For the tertiary students and for students going to college, the checks are made payable to your university or to your college. For those who are assisting with um, school fees at the high school level, the checks are made payable to the high schools or to the institutions. Now, not everybody is going to walk out of here with a check tonight because some of the checks are not ready. What you're going to leave with is a commitment letter from the Member of Parliament indicating the amount you have been allocated. Once the check is ready, you will be called and you will be handed your check and you hand it over to the school. We are prepared if the school requires it and is accepted to give a letter of commitment to them indicating the level of support that we are going to give you so that you have a smooth um, transition. So that is how we are going to proceed this evening. I now invite Mr. Finikin uh, 
and the mayor to make the first set of presentations. Then we're going to invite the councillors and so on. As I call your name, I'm going to ask you to step forward to receive your letter. Yes, Ramos. Shamani Reed. Dijon Pine. Pine. Samora Hardy. Giovanni Wright. Willis Small. Leticia Palmer. I want to thank the mayor, Fiona Robinson. Charvel Brown. Jerm Jerome Leslie. Shanil Tucker. Rachel Hyman. And Romario Walford. Jamar Harris. David Henlin. Chanel White. Miss Maury Bennett. Okay. Mr. Jason. Is this Kales? I want to thank you, Mr. Councillor Gunnin and invite Miss Kelly. Kishana Griffiths. Kimar Francis. Tamara Campbell, Nadine Hall, put your hands together for them young people who decide to give back to their community, Julia Spark Stevens. Javon Farkerson, Pamela Williamson,
Shelley and Blake. Sigail Duncan. Damien Anderson. Alton B. Pat. Nicole White. The top, sorry. Darren Lindo. Akilia Temple. Janet Morris. Janet. Keona Blake. Ken Spencer. Thank you, Councillor Parkin. Councillor Hamilton. Nordia Foresight Anne Marie Reed Georgia Francis Thank you Councillor Hamilton, put your hands together for those awardees. Put your hands together for him. Amoy McPherson, could we have Amoy? Amoy is the head boy of Independent City Primary. And I think he was valedictorian, yes. Right. Put your hands together again. to congratulate him. Which school did you pass? Yes. Going to Kingston College. Put your hands together again. Yes. So, he's one that we'll be following in the constituency. So after that noise,